My name is Pierre Etienne Meunier, and I uh, gave a talk at, uh, at GoTo uh, about Piro, which is a new version control system I'm building. In this talk, I made uh, the announcement of a new system uh, to host repositories online. It's based on function as a service frameworks uh, using serverless infrastructure to make it uh, uh, industrial grade and uh, allow people to well, either self host or at least build uh, reliable stuff on a reliable platform. Pirul itself is a version control system based on cool new mathematical algorithms to uh, help people work faster uh, in a more intuitive way and scale their project to a much bigger scale. The way we, we achieve uh, these two uh, seemingly opposite things is by, by uh, using a, an algebra of patches where you can, you, can, uh, you can work with uh, patches instead of uh, the, the current uh, systems we have working with versions. So using patches, there are, well first there are the things you see, so the things you actually work with are the, thing you, the things you see in your user interfaces, which means it's much more intuitive. And uh, having the algebra to manipulate them means that you can do anything you like with them uh, as long as you're not breaking the rules and the system knows about the rules and they're uh, enforced by the system itself. So as long as you're playing along with the patches in a, uh, like any way you like, it will always end up uh, doing what you think it does. So for example, if, you, if you're working uh, concurrently with others, which uh, most people do when they work on teams, well, that's the whole, whole point of working on teams, if you, if you do stuff uh, independently from each other, uh, the, you would like to be able to review each other's uh, changes and you would like to uh, apply them and have them work in any, any order and you, you, you want to be able, able to apply them in any order, uh, giving always the same results. My claim and my belief is that this will allow teams to work at a faster pace uh, in a less structured way, so they will need less discipline to uh, get stuff done. So that's, that's, my main, uh, that's my main point. The other thing I'm trying to do with this system is to get version control out of uh, just uh, the coders industry, the, the, the computer science industry. So we've been using version control in our industry for like 30 years or maybe more, and no one outside of us is uh, using that. Yes, many industries would benefit from that, like artists, for example, working on teams, architects. I, I was talking with an architect last week who, uh, who was uh, impressed with that possibility. It, he didn't even imagine that it was possible. The video game industry is desperate for a tool like that. And I've also been uh, talking to people in parliaments, uh, especially in, in France, about how parliaments are actually uh, mini version control systems uh, run manually by lawyers. So my hope is that uh, by building more robust and uh, simpler, easier, more scalable tools, we can achieve that. Uh, we can achieve all these goals at the same time. So in my talk, I talked about um, the basic design of the system, how we achieve these guarantees. I've talked about uh, some bits of the underlying implementation and some war stories about building a database backend in order to uh, implement the algorithms I wanted to implement. Uh, so I, I, I'll give some uh, hints and pointers at, uh, at uh, how, how I did that. And uh, finally, I talked about how to implement hosting service, uh, which is a fundamentally stateful thing, on top of a very stateless system, which is uh, given by uh, serverless providers. Uh, I'm using Cloudflare Workers at the moment, but the thing is open source. It was released yesterday, just before my talk, uh, about two minutes before. And uh, it's uh, ready now, so uh, we'll welcome contributions. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, join the Pirul community. We'll be happy to answer your questions and happy to welcome your contributions.